in terms of the the American dream, uh, with my father growing up in the Jim Crow South and serving in the segregated army, and a, and a generation later, I stand here as an aviator and a senior warrant. That really is the American dream. I'm CW4 Stephen Boyd, uh, USRAF Aviation and Ground Safety Officer. My father, uh, Arthur Boyd, Staff Sergeant Arthur Boyd, served with Charlie Company 385th Engineers during the Second World War, which at that time was, uh, so we were still in segregated service, so it was an all-black engineer unit, and uh, he served in France and uh, I believe also in Germany. Well, my father always encouraged us to uh, serve, even though he had served during a time when the Army was not particularly friendly to people of color. Uh, but he and his generation believed in, in the dream that the country held, and that's what he encouraged us to, ch to chase. I joined the Army to pursue my interest in aviation and become a uh, military aviator. I started out in the infantry in the uh, Mass National Guard. And then after about five years, uh, I was an NCO and uh, reclassed as a UH-1 crew chief mechanic. And then from there, I went on a year later to attend flight school at uh, Fort Rucker, Alabama. My message to veterans would just be thank you, you know, for those of you who've gone before us, those of you who served with us. For young soldiers who are coming in or who are currently pursuing a career in the military, moving up in the ranks, I would just say stick to it. Uh, you've definitely made the right choice in life. For those who are willing to serve, it's without a doubt one of the most rewarding uh, opportunities that you'll, you'll, you'll encounter in your life. That regardless of whether you stay for 20 years or whether you stay for four years, it'll be something that you should always be able to look back on with pride.